Hi, in this video I'm looking at this problem here where we're expressing this vector equation r of t equals 2ti plus 8t squared j in Cartesian form and then from that identify what shape the curve would be if it was graphed. So this is the same as a parametric equation when you've got a vector equation. It just rewrites the parametric equation as vector components. So here i indicates the x part, and here j indicates the y part. So that means that I've got x equals 2t, and y equals 8t squared. And that's the first step that we need to go through, is identify what's the x component and what's the y component, so that now I have it in parametric form, and I can do what's required to get it into Cartesian form. And that first step is to isolate one of these two variables so that t is the subject in one of them and then substitute into the other one. And I'm going to pick on the x equation first because it's simpler. All I have to do is divide both sides by 2 and I get an expression for t. t is half of x. So now I can substitute that up into the y, and I can get that y is going to be 8 times whatever t is squared, and we just identified that t is equal to x on 2. And we can tidy this up by bringing that squared in, so y is going to be 8 times x squared on 2 squared is 4, and so 8 divided by 4 is 2x squared. So that's our equation in Cartesian form, is y equals 2x squared, and we can see that this is a x squared, so it's a parabola, because anything where y equals something with x squared in it is going to give us a parabola. So there you have it. If you have a vector equation and you needed to convert it into Cartesian form, identify the x and the y components from the vector components, isolate the parameter for one of those equations, substitute into the other, simplify, and you have your answer. 